Hey Taurus and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your April 2019 general reading. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This will not resonate with everybody, so please use your judgment. Take what does and leave what don't, and enjoy your messages. So, let's get started. Taurus, what messages do you have for April 2019? Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. The Justice card in reverse. Whoa. You have the Two of Swords in reverse. The Queen of Swords. The Hierophant in reverse. The Death card. And the Two of Wands. Could be dealing with a... Who did I just do? Virgo. Virgo had Justice and the Two of Wands here. The energy that you are not taking into April and leaving in March is the Seven of Swords in reverse, the Five of Wands, the Fool, the Queen of Pentacles, and Judgment in reverse. Your guys' bottom of the deck and overall energy is the King of Cups in reverse. Wow. Okay. So, um... We'll begin with your energy you're leaving behind. Either you or somebody you are dealing with, Taurus, somebody you are in a relationship with, um, has been sneaky, has been not necessarily um, lying, but not forthcoming with the truth, um, kind of sneaking around, um, just deceitful energy in the past. This person has lied in the past. They have cheated in the past. But this is something that you already know. So you are leaving that energy in the past. You are no longer allowing it to hurt you. No longer allowing it to bring you down. No longer allowing it to happen in your life um, with this person. You are um, putting all that conflict behind you and this person could be um, arguing a lot or there's just a cold energy in the room when the two of you are together. Um, and this is really um, inner conflict on what to do, what to do about this energy, what to do about what has happened in the past. And you're making a choice because you do have the two of swords here in your current energy. So you are making a choice to leave this behind to, um, to not take a leap of faith, to not uh, give this person a second chance for some of you, but just to choose yourself for others. Um, you're no longer allowing what was done to you in the past to define you. With the judgment here in reverse, um, this is this is putting your foot down and not um, not giving this person another another go at it. You are deciding to. Um, Nurture yourself and to love yourself enough to know that you don't have to settle for this kind of energy. Um, this energy is very immature. This energy is um, very careless, very reckless. Um, and I feel they're very careless with your heart. You're not giving this person um, a second chance because... Because you've fought within your own heart and mind way too long over what was done to you in the past. You've forgiven this person more than once. Um, and you are just deciding to put you first. You are realizing your value, realizing your worth, and know that you deserve more than this. You have your pinnacle. You can provide for yourself. You can nourish and love yourself. And um, and really um, blossom as a individual. Um, when you let go of this heavy energy, you are dealing with somebody who is all over the place in and out, um, emotionally. They don't know if they want to be in their relationship and then, and then they do, and then they don't, and then they do. This is a very manipulative person as far as emotions go. Um, they have, they make you feel guilty at times. Uh, they're all over the map emotionally, not knowing what they want when shit gets rough. They like bolt um, and they were juggling energies. Uh, this person was very in and out of your life. Um, very, uh, I mean, just this is not an energy you want to bring forward with you, Taurus. And you are um, leaving this uh, situation, this person, this uh, 
the way things were done in the past, in the past, you are finding balance in your own life and allowing this emotionally toxic person to, uh, to go, uh, for this group of you. So let's see why you're coming into the month of April with the justice in reverse. So up to this point, you've been trying to hold off on the ending of this relationship. You are trying to hold off on the, uh, cutting of this contract could be a marriage. Um, even though there was a lot of conflict, even though you had a lot of inner conflict, you didn't know what to do. So up to this point, you just been holding on, hoping that this would work itself out, hoping that the outside competition would just go away, hoping that your person would emotionally balance out and the relationship would get back to being fair and balanced. Um, so you had a lot of conflict about making this decision coming into April up to this point, you were holding off on allowing this situation to come to an end, but you are now making a choice. Um, you are, have the two of swords in reverse. Let's see what your option is here. What are you choosing Taurus? Why is the two of swords here in reverse in April? Yeah, you're choosing to let this go. You're choosing to um, move forward no matter how hard it hurts or no matter how bad it hurts, no matter how hard it is. Um, you know you're going to miss this person. You know that you love this person, but you also know that the cups have spilled and there's, there's no way to refill them again. And you are um, coming to the... Uh, the realization that there is a true soulmate out there for you. So with the five of wands and the five of cups next to each other, you have big change coming up. Um, releasing this conflict, releasing the competition that this person has brought to your relationship. You're going to begin the, uh, you know, the, the mourning process of the ending of this relationship, but it's something you have to do for yourself. You are choosing to uh, nurture yourself and, and begin to um, get to a healing process so you can let this hurt go. Uh, you're, you're also coming in as a queen of swords. So, you know, you, you know you are going to miss this person. You know you're going to long for this person. Um, you may look okay on the outside, but you're very sad on the inside about what has happened and gone down between, these, between you and this person. But you are gaining a sense of power, a, a sense of determination that you're going to cut yourself away from the situation no matter how hard it is and, um, and focus on you and focus on um, successfully moving forward and getting out of this energy um, that has, has made you so sad in the past. Um, it's being clarified with the Seven of Wands. You just you're tired of having to defend the connection between you and your person. You're tired of having to um, always defend your point. You're tired of always having to try to talk this person into them knowing your worth, knowing your value, because this person is so up and down emotionally that you're constantly trying to, um, trying to prove to this person that you're worthy, that you're valuable. Um, and you're just really cutting yourself away from that um, emotion, that situation, because you're exhausted. You, um, yeah, you're just so tired of um, never knowing from one day to the next what this relationship is going to hold. And, and you're getting out of that. You are letting that go. Underneath your justice card, you have the Hierophant in reverse. So you are holding off, allowing this uh, marriage to come to an end. It is in the reverse. You know it is over. Um, let's see what the Hierophant in reverse is for Taurus. This is also you not being in your element, Taurus. This situation has really thrown you out of balance. And the need for you to nurture your own self is being called for. Um, why is the Hierophant here in reverse for Taurus? The page of Pentacles. Okay, so you held off allowing this marriage to end because you felt it was is what was best for your children. There is children involved in this situation. So you had a lot of inner conflict. You didn't want to disrupt their world. So you tried to keep this relationship together. You tried to keep the balance restored within the two of you so you could um, keep this 
um, this uh, situation from affecting your children. Um, you didn't know how this divorce would affect them, but they are going to be just fine. Um, and you are starting to see that because um, this relationship that is so out of balance, so emotionally um, manipulative, so emotionally almost toxic, um, is you realize is not the best environment as well for your children. And you are going to like this conflict, this coldness in the air, um, <clears throat> can be felt by them as well. Um, but your children are going to flourish whether this marriage stays together or not, because as long as you, um, nurture your children, it doesn't matter if the, parents are together or not, as long as you both nourish their minds, their hearts, and their souls, they're going to turn out just fine. And you are a nurturer, Taurus. Whether you are a male or a female, these children are going to turn out beautiful because you are going to still invest in your children. And, um, and they're going to be just fine. And you are seeing that. That is becoming very clear to you. The universe is showing that to you. You are going in April going to be going through a major spiritual transformation. You're going to be going through a major purging process. You're going to awaken to the fact that you deserve more than this. You deserve to be loved and cared for and not emotionally manipulated all the time. And you are going to not give this person that second chance because when you come through this spiritual rebirth, when you come through this transformation, you are going to be a totally different person. You are going to have the confidence and, um, and the, uh, courage to move forward in your own right, in your own path, in your own direction. Why is this uh, transformation here for Taurus? This whole situation really changed you, Taurus. And now you're going to go through the transformation process and purge out this energy, purge out this relationship um, that no longer serves you and um, and and be in a, an amazing place spiritually. Why is this uh, rebirth here for Taurus in April? It's like the butterfly. You are now like cocooning yourself, going through that transformation. Um, but you're going to emerge the butterfly once you come out of this. Yeah, you are purging a family situation. You're purging a uh, relationship that you built a family with, but no longer serves your greatest good. No longer serves uh, the spiritual path that you're meant to take. So you are uh, purging out that energy and you are allowing that cycle to end with that person that you have been holding off um, with. Bottom of the deck is the death card as well. Um, it's going to allow you to manifest into, um, into your current energy the, uh, oh wow, bottom of the deck, temperance now. Um, it is going to allow you to manifest yourself into the path that you're meant to take, into the path of your soul's purpose, and into the path of one where you can manifest whatever it is that you want, uh, Taurus, because the world is yours in your hand. You create your reality. You know your future when you create it. Um, so you are being put in that position to where you can create whatever life you want and it will come to you. Why is this two of wands here for Taurus? Is there outcome? You're really at a crossroads here at the end of April. Um, yeah, you're really at a crossroads. Um, come the end of April, you need to decide which path to take, which direction is best for you. Um, you do have the six of cups in reverse. So, um, <clears throat> You could be ending a relationship with somebody you have children with, um, somebody that you've known since childhood, somebody that you um, have been on this path with for a long time, but you no longer share the same vision of the future. So it's time for you to choose where you're going on that crossroads, Taurus. Choose what it is you're going to manifest, what you're going to create, and what... Um, what reality you're going to make yours and you will have a partner in crime even though you have not met this person yet because you see your partner in creating this 
future is not in the picture yet. You have to purge out this past relationship um, before that person can come in your in the picture. But when you do and you choose the path that you want to take, that you want to manifest, that person is going to show up in your life, Taurus. Um, that uh, person that you're going to share the rest of your life with. I just want one more on the Six of Cups here and the Crossroads. Yeah, the Six of Cups. That's what I was wondering. I was just checking to see if this was the person you're going to walk your path with, that you have a family with, or what. But um, this, is the this is the situation you are purging out. This is a situation that's coming to an end, um, Taurus, and that you're going to have to work um, on on releasing, on allowing that death process to happen so you can uh, work hard and bring the spiritual into the material with that eight of pentacles. So it's time to purge out the situation, the relationships, the, the uh, whatever it is that this, I mean, you have the death card purging out the ten of pentacles and um, the death card with the six of cups. A family situation, somebody you have children with, somebody you've known since childhood. You know if this uh, reading is for you, you know exactly who um, I am talking about um, in your life right now. So like I said, apply it where it fits. Um, if this message isn't for you, don't force it. Um, you'll know if I'm talking to you or not. So Taurus, by the end of the month, you are at that crossroads, but you are going to um, then move into a beautiful um, path where you will meet your true soulmate. So let's see what the angel romance cards have to say for April for you, Taurus. Yeah, deception. So um, someone is wearing a false mask in your or wait, someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. It's time to take those masks off. It's time to allow the truth to be seen, um, allow your feelings to be expressed, and um, to no longer turn a blind eye just to try to keep this family situation together. Um, because somebody is most definitely... Um, <sighs> deceiving the situation, deceiving the relationship, but um, keep your hopes up, keep your faith intact because you are calling in your true soulmate. You are calling in your real soulmate as soon as you purge out um, the person that is being deceptive um, or the deceptive energy. If this is you, Taurus, it can be vice versa. As we know, energy is fluid. Once again, Put it where it fits. If it doesn't fit anywhere, leave it behind. I will see you guys next time. Have a beautiful month of April. I send you love, light, and God bless.